Hello everybody and welcome to another You School Me lesson. Today I'm going to show you how to configure your iDisk. So, we're going to start by launching System Preferences from the dock. And then, third row down, under Internet and Network, we click on Mobile Me. Now, as you can see, I'm not signed in, um, so you might not have to do this if you're already signed in, but I'm going to go ahead and enter my password. And this, of course, is our mobile me username and password, and click Sign In. As you can see, it gives us our account status, a little summary, but what we want to click on is iDisk. Now, as you can see here, I've got 10 gigabytes of online storage. If I want to upgrade that, I can click on this button, and then you can pay for more storage. Now, the important part is your iDisk public folder, and this is a great way of sharing information and files with people. So at the moment, you can see by default, it's allow others to read only. That means they can't copy anything to you, they can't send you any files, but they can take whatever they want out of your public iDisk folder. Another really nice little feature here is this password protect. So what um, I will do is I'm going to set this to read and write because I want some of my um, students, for example, to be able to send me their finished work or maybe I'm working on a film project with someone and I want them to send me some raw media, upload it to my public folder so I can download it and edit it and it's too big for an email. I'm also going to password protect it because you could have anyone copying stuff to you. So I'm going to click on this checkbox and then enter a password. Then confirm it and click OK. Okay, so now if someone wanted to access your public folder, all they would need to do on their computer is click on the Go menu and choose iDisk, Other Users Public Folder, and then enter your username. Click Connect, and as you can see, it's asking for the password that we just set. So I'm going to enter that and click OK. And there we go. They have read and write access, so I could copy this to my desktop if I wanted. Okay, and that's downloaded. So that is how to simply set up your mobile me account's iDisk. So we have the read or read and write options, and you can password protect your folder. So I hope that was useful, and I'll be back with more mobile me goodness later. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.